Okay then. So back to the tower. I don't have a string of curses yet. Gosh. My uh, the current exotic weapon I have automatically reloads every time I get a kill with it, and then increases its damage. Mm -hmm. But because it's one of the earlier exotics, uh, it doesn't start off with its exotic perk. I have to actually like level it up oh. uh, to get it. Whereas the later exotics actually just by default have their super cool thing, and then you get other cool things later on in their tree. Ah, oh, that's well, that's enticingly designed. Yeah. It seems as though, from really the inspection of everything, Destiny started out kind of okay, maybe a bit lackluster, and then significantly improved over the course of its lifespan. Yep, there is. There is. They've made a really good just, just bike loop machine. You know, you just keep on pedaling and pedaling, <laughs> and you feel good about it. All right, all right. Well, good. It just, uh, it just took a few iterations. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I don't do everything right the first time either, so I understand, Bungie. I get it. <laughs> We're not all perfect. Yeah, as we stare at, like, a fucking 60-second long loading screen. That is also not perfect, but you know what? At least there are spaceships. At least it's not an elevator. You got that right. Okay. It does look cool. I'm evidently supposed to talk to the lady... Actually... I'm supposed to talk to this wall, Gom? Wait, what? The wall. You know, the wall that doesn't have anything in it? Oh, the wall that doesn't have anything in it, yeah. right. Yeah, the wall that doesn't have anything at all in it. Why does it tell me to talk to a wall? What's going on here? I don't know, maybe the wall has important information about the hive. I, 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 let me see if I can stare into the cracks really hard here. Hang on, hang on, wait a minute. Fire. The Emerald Flame. His sword. You've what does the wall it. whisper to your ears? It tell it's telling me I need to infiltrate a high fortress and destroy the legendary sword of Crota. I was gonna do that anyway, but yeah, okay, this seems like a pretty good idea. Good hunting. Okay then. Crota must be found. So we're gonna kill someone or steal their sword, one or two. Yep. Ocean you know, what's stars. interesting about this is to this chick didn't exist until the Crota DLC. I see. And I guess rather than just have her be ignored because she's a crazy person in the corner, uh, they actually have integrated her a little bit into the hmm. story by having her be part of the Hive moon going. Because her backstory is... Uh, <laughs> Shit happened. A lot of shit happened. She went to the moon with a fire team uh, to you to raid the moon and, and deal, I believe, with Crota or something in the moon. And everyone died mm -hmm. except for her. And so she had to survive just inside the hive without any real help. And I think she transplanted her eyes with hive eyes. Wow. So if you look at her, you can, uh... Yeah. Not normal. I see the, yeah, I see the, the eyes which are glowing, but it's, uh, whatchamacallit, it's hidden under a bandage and they are bleeding black tears. Darkness. And she apparently yeah. very, 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 very much likes the color green. I like this. But <laughs> once again, it's a wall. Just nothing here. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't we don't know anything about crazy talking walls. And also, like an idiot, while I was listening to you do that, I accidentally crafted, actually dismantled the machine gun that was uh, uh, higher damage than the machine gun I'm using. Even though it doesn't really matter because I never find any fucking ammunition for it! But I feel stupid. But, oh, oh well. Okay, I've also got some engrams to decrypt. Uh -huh. What do we get here? Techno Ranger? Very solid, Guardian. 385, that's lame, no. Illyrian? Type zero. So it's gold. Oh, footsies. Seventy. I guess. Okay, it requires level thirteen, but seventy-one defense. Not bad at all. So I think the blues hard limit in terms of decrypting is three hundred eighty-five light right now, because I've decrypted a lot of blues and they just keep hitting three eighty-five, even though I'm three eighty-six light. That's interesting. So I need more legendaries and exotics, goon. Okay then, understandable. 
Also, this is a very nice looking chess piece I got here. It's very, very manly, very buff. Oh, he's still been killed an ultra. And that takes a while. So ultras are like the named yellow bar folk. Right. Those are, I'm assuming those guys are bosses, but yes, if they have names, yeah, okay, that's what they're called. Uh, well, ultras are, well, bosses do count for ultras. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can find, like, just random, like, mini bosses in the world as well, I suppose. Increased melee attack. Actually, you know what? Since these, whatchamacallit. So when do I unlock this? Okay. What's over here? You might have something to investigate over here, by the way. Hmm. Over at the speaker. You might have another mission thing. Okay, so, uh, Gum, for uh, the question here, I'm looking at, say, my gauntlets, for example. The leveling system. Uh -huh. Explain how this works exactly. How? What is the actual unit of measurement that I actually, ex like, build this stuff up? Because I know I can buy it with Glimmer, but how do I exactly level it up? Okay, so once you've reached a, or a, well, okay, so you, the max level is 40 at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, and then you have light level. At some point, light level is what's, the, what, once you hit level 40, light level is basically your supplementary level. Right. And so the defense and the attack of your weapons, that's, that's the light. Uh, so that contributes it. And so basically it averages out everything you have. Um, and the gear that you get will usually be rewarded around your light level, unless it's either RNG to not do that, or it's programmed to not do that. Right. For example, I have the Outbreak Prime, which is a 390 weapon. That was the only 390 thing you could get at the time that I got it. Uh, but that's, that's fucking changed. <laughs> but yeah, so... It's basically, you, you take the number of your weapon and armor, and you get it as high as possible, and it averages out to things. All right, but the... For now, though, I don't think light level does anything for you. Well, for not for light level, but I'm talking about the individual upgrades for the individual pieces of armor. Oh, that's what you mean. Right. Ah, okay. I thought you meant the, uh, everything else. Okay. That's good to know, too, but yes, this is what I was referring <laughs> to. Okay, uh, so... What, what are you looking at right now? Let I'm, me look at you. I'm looking at my gauntlets, and I see they increase my melee attack speed as the third upgrade. I'm looking at it, and I'm like... I'm looking at it, and it's it's still, uh, like, dumping XP and leveling into the hand cannon loader. And that's about three-fourths of the way through. But I don't see exactly how that is actually gauged, as in, what is it? what do I do to make the bar go up, gum? Uh, it's XP. Okay, so it's... Uh, so, it's so, so it's... It starts from the left and it progresses right. Yeah. Um, and until so, so, so if you look at my character, mm. uh, so if you go to the roster or inspect my character, mm -hmm. um, and then look at say, let me whip that bad juju. There we go. So if you look at my primary exotic, the bad juju, uh, you can see that like it's slowly progressing towards that right side of string of curses of rock, oh, right, and then rock. you have hang on oh you oh, i was just you, trying okay. to fumble around the, the okay so what are we talking <laughs> about here exactly uh so my 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 primary rifle okay okay right so you can see that like it progresses sort of in a linear fashion to the right yeah. eventually you have things that have like multiple choices and once you buy the first upgrade you can just swap between the different ones okay, once you've unlocked them okay, with xp okay so everything going straight in the line to the right is a sequential update upgrade and everything that goes down is a side grade or different option right yeah and that will those side grade options will come in at the same time as the uh, the main options okay. that are to the right okay so essentially all i have to do here is just punch things and eventually wear like punch things while wearing the stuff and eventually this stuff will just level up as I'm doing it. I expected this, but I wanted to actually just make sure. Yeah, bounties also super help with this because, like, if you save up bounties uh, and then use them for when you get, like, exotic gear, you can pretty much... or exotic or legendary gear, you can pretty much get a lot of their upgrades, like, immediately. All right, then good, good. All, all good to know of these systems. All right, now we mm -hmm. got to talk to the lore master again. Oh, well, this is cute. 
He gives us a little reward, but the battles leave little time. For is it is it a, is it more readouts that say give him more guns? No. Our worlds are safe. Oh, it's a ghost. Thanks to you. I talked to this figure. Yes. It's a higher level ghost. Yes, yes. I feel it now. Everything is connected within the light. I sense a share I sense a shard of the traveler bathed in darkness. Guardian, if they succeed in their task, if they complete their ritual, the traveler will fall and our tail will end. Stop them, no matter the cost. Right, okay. Yes. We have to stop them from corrupting the light! Do not stop fighting, Guardian. Do right. you want to stand in this really weird fucking bowl? Okay. Weather shell. Do I have that? 45 defense. Yeah, um, what? I already have a, a apparently a better ghost that gives me four, four, more, four more strength. Amazing. All right, so where'd you go to? <laughs> standing, standing in shapes. I don't think you're supposed to be down there. I think I, I don't. Uh. I, I, I think we were supposed to hop the guardrail. I think the lore master's gonna get mad. <laughs> and also, I can't bring the camera up high enough to really look at the ball from straight under. Thank you, console limited view. Yeah, like what is? I don't know the point of this thing. It's just like here's the thing that shows. Yes, indeed, the traveler exists. Well, it is apparently some kind of, well, really, really overly complicated hologram producing device, as in all of the the spinning circles are producing the image at different angles. And it needs to keep spinning in order to maintain the image. However, this is, is incredibly complicated. Let me hear you. Yeah, and kind of knew this. I'm assuming maybe it's more like a scanning device to kind of like measure if there's any activity in the traveler, because if you look over there, Giant Ball's not really doing much. Giant Ball... Giant Ball looks pretty okay. It looks pretty comfy over there. I'd like to live in a city where there's a Giant Ball just kind of levitating there. It looks nice. I don't know. I'd, I think I'd be pretty terrified. <laughs> that thing has to be, like, fucking massive. It is. Imagine it just falling. Well, it's it's not going to fall, Gum. It's trying to protect us. No, it's, de it's, it's deactivated. So it's just naturally hovering, which is nice. But what happens when that stops? Well, then, you know, then there's a, then it falls, and there's a large thud, and then, as with most animes, there's a big black cloud that like rushes towards our face and probably kills us from all the, the well, the air pressure, the force, and all of the debris. Then that's when everyone dies. But until then, it's very nice scenery. It's actually very calming. Yeah, I would love to be able to go into like the main city itself. I mean, look at look at those towers in the distance. Those look cool. There's like an inner wall. There is an inner wall. Unfortunately, Gum, as we know from Destiny 2, all of this shit just gets destroyed. Well, the tower at least. I don't know if the, um... I don't know if the city's gonna take any serious damage. I don't know if the Cabal give a shit about that. They probably should, because they're world-conquering bad guys! Well, that's the whole point. It's like the world's- conquering worlds wouldn't mean anything if there was no one actually on the worlds. Well... <gasps> Excellent. You see, Gom went into the city. <laughs> he went. He went. He commuted into. He commuted into town. Went to go pick up some Chinese food. He'll be back in a bit. <laughs> I'm back. Just teleported in. Transmat systems are great for this kind of stuff. You want to look at a map of the solar system? That I can't really zoom into. Uh, <laughs> I have to lean my head over. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at it, but I'm not looking at it. I have to look that... away in order to actually get a clearer <laughs> image. Is that supposed to be Pluto? Look at that super fast outer ball thing. It might be. I have no idea what the orbital path of Pluto is. Well, actually... But that's kind of zigzagging all over the damn place, well, so I don't know. Well, hang here. One, two, three, four, five, six... No, I don't think this is the entire solar system. But Pluto... Yeah, not, I mean, we, Pluto does have a really, really strange eccentric orbit. But, yeah. yeah. Okay, All right. let's go. So is that everything here? Do you have any other symbols in the world? Um, aside from, well, it's telling me to go over here. But I'm assuming it's just the, the mail shit bothering me again. It's like, you, you need to level, take these items so you can do the raids instantly. And, and it's like, but I want to play the game first, goddammit. <laughs> and yeah, that's, should, uh... that's it. So I suppose we can leave now. Yeah, you should put that... Uh, well, yeah, you can just bother not touching it. It's just, it is like an annoying thing because you go in and your instinct is to clear out all the green shit, and then you just have stuff in the mail, constantly yes, being there. Zavala. Okay then. I got the message. Let's go to orbit. Now, what was I gonna do? 
I forgot. Oh, well. Maybe if we go back to the moon and keep killing things, then we'll remember exactly what we needed to do. Oh, no, I was going to do something in my inventory. Ah. Ugh. And then I forgot. And now I'm just going to stare at my inventory until I figure it out. Okay. So, oh, yeah, I was going to track these. There we go. Right. Okay, now we're going back to the moon, and we have two missions. We have the Sword of Crota and Chamber of Night. Want to do the, so one's level eight and one's level nine. We could tackle both pretty easily, but let's do the level eight quest, I suppose, first, right? Yeah, that, that's how I tackle things, pretty much in level order. All right, off we go to see the moon. Yep. So you can actually track uh, the different missions so that when you press the touchpad, it'll show up what how many you have left. Yeah, I've got the one of the bounties, I believe, or rather a mission of some kind that collecting light orbs sitting there. Can I have multiple? Come the cryptarch's records for four. anything yeah. on the tip right, of right. Crota. Listen, long ago, the moon fell to Crota. He wielded a sword so dark it drained whatever light it touched. Now Crota sleeps, but the sword does not. Warlocks believe the sword is in a chamber guarded by the Swarm Princes. If you face them and steal the sword, we can see that it is never wielded again. A sword made of complete darkness. Well, a sword that just has so much dark energy that it's pretty much a weapon of mass destruction. It's so edgy, it's hard to ignore in conversation. The only way to destroy the sword okay. is to kill its makers. The Swarm Princes. Okay, so hang on. One here. of them is said to guard a ritual site near the Hellmouth. Progress. We'll challenge Progress. him first. Okay, so we've got bounties here. The let's see here. We've got a lot of things here. Light orbs, void kill, void weapon. Oh well, I actually have to get kills with the void weapon, so we can do that. Track that. And Solar abilities, eh, defeat 50 Vex, get three kills within three seconds, seven times using a special weapon. That'd be nice if I actually had any special weapon ammo. Get 30 precision kills with a primary weapon. I'm assuming it's headshots. Uh, yeah, precision kills are, are headshots. And get 20 grenade kills, which I'm... Well, for the most part, there are some enemies that precision hits aren't headshots. Okay, so hang on here. Let me just make some adjustments here now that we actually have to do this. Where's my void gun? Do, did I have a... I could have sworn. No, 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 no. Okay, so it's in here. Void weapon, void weapon, void weapon. Okay. Equip. Actually, then again, I have a void shotgun. There we go. Much better. Right. Okay, so... And kills, primary, primary precision, okay. All right, we're ready to go. Nice hat, by the way. Very, very fast. <laughs> it's like a, like a, like a, like a green demon sombrero. Yeah, it's supposed to be, uh, like a hive knight. Okay. It's a Halloween costume. Summon vehicle. Now we will begin our ride across the surface of the moon. Okay, now how far is this destination? Uh, it's gonna be to the left. Hi there. No, wrong button. Get- Get back here, you son of a bitch! Oh, thank you! Dodge! <laughs> I stopped him, though. <laughs> I think I accidentally threw that in actually a perfect position. Nope, nope, nope. And apparently I'm already out of void- God fucking- Wow. I need boy kills too. <laughs> Evidently, I'm completely out of ammo for the shotgun already. God. Okay. Uh, yeah, when you swap weapons, it drains the ammo a little bit. Uh, no, not Orban. Vehicle. Right. Okay, let's get down to business. Hold on. Listen to the hum of the coils. No, no, get up, get up, you sparrow. I'm attempting to communicate. <laughs> the coils. Listen to them. 
Is it the shimmy shinery? Yes. Listen to them speak. Helium feminine. They now, glow in excitement. Now it's dead. I've, 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 I've extracted them. I will take them with me. <laughs> Does Siri not have a name? It doesn't. It's just the moon. The ritual site is up ahead. Well, this is a big area. Yeah! <laughs> it is super spacious. Ow! Uh oh. Nice. Ow. Is that a. No, no, they're just a light. I thought it was like a hole in the ground or something that I was gonna instantly die. I'm falling! I mean... That's actually a hole in the ground that I'm actually going to die from, if I actually fall in. Yeah. Oh, is there... Chest... Oh, no, that's just... That's my... First month of destiny talking. Right. Right. There were uh, chests that spawn, like, down in some of these crevice areas. Mm -hmm. And beforehand, in order to get... This is where like we'll helium find filaments it. and things like I that. Hope you're ready. You had to really like search for them in the patrol environment, right? Whereas now you can get rewarded f through like bounties and things like that. So I had to run around in circles for hours and hours looking for every single chest spawn, and then I would leave and look for more chest spawns. Immune. Grenade. What the fuck? They ran? Oh, because we were spawning something else. We spooked them. Guys, guys, I want to kill you. All right, fine, I'll listen to the hum of this thing. Look at the big giant space station up there. Now! Huh? Ain't no time to admire. Fuck him. I got him. And yes, that is a very large space station. It's also basically falling apart. And also, God damn it. I'm trying to admire the environment! Ow. Oh, it's Banuk, the Ur uh, Prince. The Prince of Ur. The Ur One Prince down. is dead. I'll lead us to the others. Revive. Yeah, there were other players uh, in front of us. Alright, encrypted engram, and also I need these orbs, so. Balancing the books. Okay, so where do we go now? Jump up to me, we're going over this way. Okay. Ah. More filaments. Hmm. Whatever you do, don't ram me into the wall. <laughs> I just bounced away. <laughs> Please do not squeeze Hunter. She does not like this. Do not bully the Hunter. <laughs> she just wants to throwing knife things and be cool. Ow! I got you! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Ow! God! Not to unsettle you, but I'm it was sticking the out of your shoulder for a bit. Fucking <laughs> crazy ass mother. God it's damn! Below. Okay. More bones. Respawning restricted. This is the there time. Are always bow. This is the time you know you have entered Mr. Bones' wild ride. I want off Mr. Bones Wild Ride! Never ends. Ow. <laughs> Purple. Oh my god, it's it's heavy weapon ammo. My goodness. What an amazing fucking sight this is. I have two mags. Yeah, I don't really get uh, many ammo things myself. Is there a dead ghost over there? There's a dead ghost somewhere along, like, one of these things, but I don't remember if it was, like, here. Down. Nope. 
<laughs> nice job. Um, um, uh, um. Find the, you can probably reach that. Oh, there is a ghost right here. Good, good job. Good on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Misadventure. Nice. <laughs> the darkness consumed you. Whoops. <laughs> well, shit. Oh, now we're gonna kill them again. All right, whatever. Uh, I get more, uh, more, uh, more space for me to actually get some of my kills. Thank you, Mister. Kills everything in the room. Hey, you see that? I one shot him. Well, I'm, I mean, unless I I'm him. trying to farm headshots, Gom. Me too. I think. Hold on. Okay. I, I found the ghost. <laughs> ghost fragment. Mercury. Oh, I think. I think that was last week's bounty, and I already did that. Alright. Did I- Void weapons it is. Did I get anything? Nope. Okay. Look at my sniper. It's got bits and bobs. Oh, well look at that. I actually have void ammo now. Interesting. Very interesting. I have three rounds of void shells. Well, you know, the sword is close. Let me... I can feel Do I have a void primary? I'll let you, let you go about and kill everything. Except for maybe that wizard up there. Duh! Ooh, worms. Wow, I suck. Okay. I have to very carefully, very, very carefully as a scalpel, farm the headshots. Alright, carefully as a scalpel. There's a sword. Found the sword. Found the big pokey stick. <laughs> There, have a grenade. Ha <laughs> ha! It doesn't stop after it exploded! <laughs> I'll cr claim the sword. Claim the sword of oh. Its power is dark. I, I feel the, the darkness overtaking me. I hear the distant hum. Not voices gone. Songs. Maybe you're hearing the screams of the house. I hear songs gone. I believe they're My Chemical Romance albums. Yes, yes, I, I'm attuned with the darkness. <laughs> well, attune your darkness to their faces. Right. You'll never make me leave. I wear this on my sleeve. Give me a reason to believe. You know, I have a smaller sword. It's called a knife. <laughs> it, it, well. We won't be comparing sizes of cutlery really today. <laughs> I'm just watching you go at it. That works. Nice. Here comes the Swarm Prince. Lots of movement all around us. The princes are coming for the sword. Well, take it from me, motherfuckers. Let's go. All right. Well, you gotta have a sword battle with the prince. Let let's fucking go then. Fucking. You know what? Also, I charged my fist into that. Aha! Oh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Let me show you how a real guardian does it! Oh, it's gone! Oh, shit! Oh, wait! Okay! I'm picking you up! Genius! Real guardian! <laughs> Where's the sword? Here, have your sword. Give me my fucking sword back. It dropped. I don't know why. <laughs> I am the chosen one. It is my oh. destiny to wield the sword. You have a new prince behind us. His name is Dakur. I think you should be more careful with this one. Uh, by doing that as well. Eh. Ow! <laughs> Alright, I'll hit him. Flippity flabbity flippity flabbity. Wait, wait, supercharge. Let's do this. Oh! Get the fuck back here. Oh! EAT SHIT! Okay, then. <laughs> oh, no, that works here. Slay them, goon! So, Gom, you're but telling- don't submit your heart to darkness! So, so, Gom, you're telling me that, um, they didn't make the sword a weapon that you could use until what expansion? Um... I think the ta- no. Sometime before the Taken King, or the Taken King. And this is a vanilla quest. Yes. Bungie, are you retarded? 
<laughs> when you make a fun thing, we want to play the fun thing more. This I like. Well, they did add like five. Well, they actually added a lot of swords. Ha ha! Ha ha! Grenade! Ow! Charging! Reloading with rockets. I'll let you finish them off. Done. Goodbye, Merc. My sword! No! I was almost- Dismantled it! Sword is gone. Oh. They say that was one of the most powerful weapons the Hive ever wielded against us. Cryptarchs won't believe this. Oh. <laughs> I was almost- almost in- in tune with the darkness, Gom. What- what a shame. What- what a- what a horrible shame. Don't- don't submit yourself to the darkness, Guardian. We are warriors of the light. We are powered by it. We are saved by it. Yes, but hate gets people to do things. Lots of things. Oh. I have seen it. So the darkness... The darkness isn't just hate. It's so much more. <laughs> mm. Okay, so what rewards do we get? I didn't get anything! <laughs> That's what I get for submitting to the darkness. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Yeah, for Guardian, go. Uh, yeah, whatever, you fucking stuck up assholes. Not giving me rewards for use wailing around. My reward was using that sword in combat. That was my reward. <laughs> Your reward is cool shit. Temporary cool shit. <laughs>